What's up everybody? Welcome back to my channel. If you're new, my name is HG, you know, and if you're wanting to join the queendom, you know, you can go ahead and hit that subscribe button. Don't forget that notification bell. And let's go ahead and hop right into it, shall we? The summer is very much close to an end. It's definitely back to school season. So I decided to go ahead and do a summer shopping haul that I've been loading up on. And um, a couple of them are from black owned businesses. And the first one I'm gonna get into is going to be what's already on my face. <laughs> and if you can't tell, it's not the makeup, but it is the lashes. The lashes are from Your Lash Bar. I'll probably get a close up on them. The lashes are in Tequila Sunrise. Pretty much every other style of lashes she had was sold out. Actually, I was pretty sad about it. So I had Tequila Sunrise. She also has four other styles. Screwdriver, Sea Breeze, Blue Hawaiian, and Apple Teeny. All of them are $9. Amazing. So the next one I have is Space Head Clothing. Now, this is something that I've been eyeing for a while, but they recently put out something that I have been eyeing for the longest. And I was like, I gotta cop those. I don't care how much they are, I gotta get them. So let me go ahead and show you what I've been. So it's three things that I got from Spacehead. This was the very last item, but I had to have them. So it's these shorts. You see? And yeah, they're pretty short. And this is their logo. Alien guy. You know, their, their um, slogan is don't just think outside the box, get outside the box. I like that. So this is the first one that I really want to showcase. I, I really do like them. They st they're really comfortable. Me personally, I got to lose a little bit more weight for them to fit the way that I want to, but I like them. That's all that matters. Now these shorts, I believe they were made specifically for guys, but I said, I don't care. I want these because they're cute. And I couldn't decide because they had them in heather gray, which is one of my favorite colors for clothes. Heather gray, anything, I'm probably gonna buy it. That, they had black and they had yellow. I could have been bold with yellow, but I said, why not? So I got these cut off shorts that's a trend now why i don't know but these i like them and then there's the logo i'm always rocking these whenever i just need to throw something on they're crazy comfortable <laughs> that's my sound effect for anything that i'm just i have no words for these are really 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 comfortable like you can dress these up or you can dress them down and make it like, hey, I'm just throwing these on. Or you could throw it on with a bodysuit and a pair of chucks or your favorite pair of sneakers. I'm not a sneakerhead person, but your favorite pair of sneakers. And it could be really, really sporty cute. Catch my drift. I, I will show you one day. Not today, but one day. But I like this shirt. It's really, really cute. I like the color, it's really bright. I, I don't do a lot of bright, bright colors, but lately I have, because I've just been loving myself. And yeah, I got my first Morphe palette. It's 350 Na Nature Grow. Grow. I'm sleepy, I'm sorry. 350 Nature Glow. I thought it was natural. In the other video, I'm gonna say natural, but apparently it's supposed to be nature. But so far, I really like this palette. It makes me want to be really different with my looks. It's a highlighter palette. And the main reason why I got the palette was because I saw Nikita's face, Nikita Dragon's face, by the palette. And I was like, hmm, does she have anything to do with the palette? I don't know if she does, but I mean, hey, I'm gonna get it anyway because the palette color is really, really cute. So the palette is called Love You So Moochie. And here are the colors. 
So as far as I know, there's not any names for them individually, but the name for the palette as a whole is called Lit Life. I could live with that because this is where I live. I live in here. I live all in this one. Oh snap. I live all in there. Nowhere else. Not these two. I haven't tried anything for those two. But I live all in that last one. That's it. I also have an eyeshadow palette. But before I get into the palette, I do have some glitter eye pigments. So the first one I'm going to show is the NYX Glitter Face and Body Glitter Brilliance in Glitter 06. Now, there is a makeup look that I was really, really inspired by a song to do with this. I did it for costume makeup, but it's a an actual makeup look that I really want to try to do. I practiced with this next look. So the next loose pigment that I have is the NYX Professional Makeup Face and Body Glitter Brilliance in a Glitter 08. That right there is a cute bronze. I took a selfie in the makeup look that I tried with that. Hopefully you can see it. Cause I really did attempt, I really did try. But next we're gonna get into this next palette. Hopefully there's some individual names for these colors, cause I don't, I don't know. So here's the palette, here's the packaging. This is how it looks. That's embarrassing. And then, okay. So don't mind my ratchet nails either. I know they're not done. It's upsetting. So here we have um, numbers one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, and 10. This is the Love Beam Away We Glow palette. I'm gonna have that and try that for a few other looks as well. I think number one can help me with the look that I'm going for. Now, for the main attraction, for why you're here, for why you clicked on the video, because I got scammed. Oh yeah, over the summer, while I was shopping, doing all this online shopping, making sure I'm looking at reviews and checking out websites and making sure everything's gonna be legit, too legit to quit by that. But I was wrong. I was bamboozled. I was hoodwinked. I, I took, I went out on a limb. It was someone having a flash and I said, ooh, these are coming to some prices I can't pass up. Look at the website, look pretty legit. And when I looked, I was like, okay, I've seen this model before. I don't know if this hair is from that model, but I mean, I don't know if the hair from the model is from that company, but you know, we'll see. Look at this. It might not seem like a bad thing to you. If this, this is bad for me. I could probably finesse this and make it look like it's worth my while, but it's so thin. It's so, dollars. I'm gonna pay $60 for this. I guess I got what I paid for. I could probably finesse this and make this work one day. But um, right now, not so much. I mean, the scalp is pure white. It's pure, man, this looks like the foam from my wig head. Now, I can make a better wig than this with better quality hair. I just, look, okay, so here's the deal. Here is the deal. I'm calling you the scammer. I'm just, okay, so I guess I'm just really upset at the fact that I had to pay my money for it and I'm sitting here thinking it's gonna be here in a timely manner. Right? Wrong. I'm so upset, I'm so heated because I'm trying to track it and it's like, 
we're unable to track your order. What do you mean we're unable to track my order? And then no one's answering my emails like I'm just talking to nobody. And I'm just like, okay, so let me do some really, let me dig, dig. So apparently this facility is located in London. I've never been, I don't know anybody from there. I don't know how they're set up or anything like that. Blah, I don't care. Um. So once no one got back in contact with me, I started to look up like, okay, so were there any reviews? I'm going on Google like Google's my best friend. Bro, so are there any reviews on this certain company? And then when I look it up, all I see are YouTube videos like, don't buy from them. They're scammers and da da da, da this, that, and the third, and blah, blah, blah. So I'm looking like, oh, oh, oh. what? I'm looking like, what? I just got scammed. And I laugh at it now because I was just so, my heart was broken. I was disappointed. I could find a better quality wig than this in the beauty supply for $40. Bling, bling. How much? I let it go for about $40. $40? For $40. And I have. It's the blue wig and the blonde wig. Don't get it twisted, honey. I was just, I was floored. I was ugh, over it, just over it. So that was like rule number one, the timing on how it got here, no communication. And then how are you gonna send me an email asking for my honest review on it? And I haven't even gotten a thing yet. So how are you gonna send a review email, a request for a review email two weeks before I even get the daggone thing? I ordered my lashes from your lash bar like two weeks, a whole month after I ordered this thing. And why did the packages come at the same time? I got my lashes in a week, less than a week. And they come the same time as this daggone wig. That's how I feel about this wig, that face. But yeah, so that's my story on how I got scammed. But you know, that concludes the video for today. Is me and Scammer here? I don't know what I'm gonna do with her. If you like this video, go ahead and give it a thumbs up. If you felt like I got what I deserve for not really doing my research on Instagram accounts, giving flash sales on hair or whatever, like this video because I shown enough learned my lesson. If you're not subscribed to the channel, go ahead and subscribe. And don't forget about that notification bell. If you like this video, go ahead and give me a thumbs up. If you feel like me getting scammed for this scandalous wig is what I deserve for not doing my research, go ahead and like this video. But yeah, that's it. You know, until next time, I'm out.